You know, you, you move out a little deeper to that next zone, 150, 200 foot of water, a little piece of hard bottom. Well, you know, that, that, that's a little more secretive. You're catching some fish until you kind of see somebody in the area. Now it's starting to go through your head. Well, maybe he knows about it. I think this thing's bounced off the bottom a few times. <laughs> <laughs> you get out there in that deep water and you see a little bump on the bottom. Well, the first thing that goes through my mind is this could be a virgin piece of bottom. And what we're gonna do when I get up to it, you're gonna drop it down. You can turn the clicker on. I wouldn't, it'll drive you crazy. Back it off just enough so that thing's falling as fast as it really can without backlashing. Okay. Once you see that thing hit the bottom, lock it up, bring up the slack, and let, basically you're looking for that thing to bounce off the bottom. Boom. Oh, you're gonna keep pounding on the bottom? Boom. Okay. Yep, you don't want to lay it down because then the hooks will get caught in the bottom. Once the deep drop fishery really became popular and I started learning more about it, 